Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning. Thank you for being here this morning. As we gather together, church invites us to celebrate the feast of the Apostle Matthias, the guy who had the second chance to be chosen to fill the twelfth space. God reminds us this morning that everything that happens in our life has a part in God's involvement, God's choices that's part of our life. So let us call to mind all the blessings and acknowledge our shortcomings. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to the everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ of mercy. Lord have, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who assigned St. Matthias a place in the College of the Apostles, grant us, through his intercession, that rejoicing at how your love has been allotted to us, we may merit to be numbered among the elect, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Of the apostles. One night while Paul was in Corinth, the Lord said to him in a vision, Do not be afraid. Go on speaking and do not be silent, for I am with you. No one will attack and harm you, for I have many people in this city. He settled there for a year and a half and taught the word of God among them. But when Galileo was pro consul of Asia, the Jews rose up together against Paul and brought him to the tribunal, saying, This man is inducing people to worship God contrary to the law. When Paul was about to reply, Galileo spoke to the Jews, it is, If it were a matter of some crime or malicious fraud, I should with reason hear the complaint of you Jews. But since it is a question of arguments over doctrine and titles and your own law, see to it yourselves. I do not wish to be a judge of such matters. And he drove them away from the tribunal. 
They all seized Sothenus, the synagogue official, and beat him in full view of the tribunal. But none of this was the concern of Galileo. Paul remained for quite some time, and after saying farewell to the brothers, he sailed for Syria, together with Priscilla and Aguilia. And Chinsia, he had shaved his head and became, and because he had taken a vow, the word of the Lord. Thanks Lord. be to God. God is king of all the earth. God, God is, is king the king of all the earth. All you peoples, clap your hands. Shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome, is the great king over all the earth. The God, God is, is the king, king of all the earth. He brings people under us, nations under our feet. He chooses for us our inheritance, the glory of Jacob, whom he loves. God, God is, is the king, king of, of all, all the earth. God mounts his throne in shouts of joy. The Lord amid trumpet blasts. He sings praise to God. Sing praise. Sing praise to our king. Sing praise. God, God is, is the king, king of all the earth. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Christ had to suffer and to rise from the dead and so enter into his glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, Amen, I said to you, you will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will become joy. When a woman is in labor, she is in anguish because her hour has arrived. But when she has given birth to a child, she no longer remembers the pain because of her joy that a child has been born into the world. So you also are now in anguish. But I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice, and no one will take your joy away from you. On that day you will not question me about anything. Amen, amen, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father, in my name he will give you the gospel of the Lord. We begin the sixth week that Jesus reminding us that we are chosen by him and appointed by him to love because we are made out of love. We are created out of love and we are to be love. The only commandment Jesus gave us is to love. So we are coming to the end of the week and we continue to meditate Gospel of John chapter 16 verses 20 to 23 and Jesus continued to remind the apostles and the disciples that he is not abandoning us. He will come and take us back to Father's house. And that joyfulness, nothing and no one will take away from us. And meanwhile, when you are alone, remember whatever you ask in my name, Father will give you. So this is the core of being the disciple of Christ, living in the name of Jesus. We know we do everything in this Trinity in the name of the Father and Son and the Holy Spirit. Name stands for the person. 
So we are a people who do everything in the person of Jesus. That we are not ever doing anything alone. It's with Jesus, with God, that we are not anywhere separated from God in the name, the name of God that we are doing things with him. And so this consciousness is what Jesus is inviting us to be, to be conscious that we are never alone. God is in us and with us, that we are never alone. No matter what we go through, let us pray. Gracious and loving Father, we thank you for the gift of our life, all the blessings. We pray for our Holy Father, for all the leaders of the church and the world, and of our country, that they be always in your protection and providence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray for each one of us that this day we may be conscious of your divine presence in our life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray for all those who are sick, hospitalized, all those who go through serious concerns and issues, that they all be in your providence and protection, we pray to the Lord. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Together we pray. Mary, my mother, I give myself totally to you as your possession and property. Please make of me of all that I am and have, whatever most pleases you. Let me be a fit instrument in your immaculate and merciful hands for bringing the greatest possible glory to God. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, the fruit of the earth and work of human hands. Thus will become the bread of our life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, the fruit of wine, work of human hands, thus will become our spiritual drink. Wash me, Lord, from all my iniquities and cleanse me from all my sins. My dear sisters and brothers, pray that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice for, for the praise and glory of His name, for our good of all His holy church. Amen. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your church, reverently presented for the feast of St. Matthias, and through them, strengthen us by the power of your grace, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for you eternal shepherd do not desert your flock but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your son and so with angels and archangels with thrones and dominions and with all the hosts and powers of heaven we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord Hosanna in the highest You are indeed holy O Lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and endured willingly into his passion he took bread giving you thanks he broke it gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and uh, eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and uh, drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith we proclaim your death o lord and profess your resurrection until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope stephen our bishop and all the clergy remember your servant selma heni whom you have called from this world to yourself remember also our parents brothers sisters and children who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all those who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be choirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son our lord jesus christ 
through him and with him and in him O God Almighty Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever Amen. at the Savior's command informed by divine teaching we dare to pray our Father hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look, not on our sins, but on the faith of this your church and graciously grant them the peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever Amen. the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit. let us offer each other the sign of peace Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, My dear sisters and brothers, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy, but only said the word, and the soul shall be healed. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Bring eternal life to us, to all those who receive him. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Never cease, O Lord, we pray, to fill your family with divine gifts, and through Blessed Matthias' intercession for us, graciously admit us to share in the lot of the saints in light. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for being here this morning. Remember the Gospel said, the identity last Sunday reminded us, our identity is a friend of God, the way we were Abraham. The people of God said, the commandments remember, thou shalt not use my, your name. He said, ask anything in my name. So the family of God, how drastic the change is. And we, the people, do everything in the name of God. How completely different from Old Testament, the redemption and restoration. And today, we begin the novena to Pentecost. It's in your prayer book. In the nine days, we prepare ourselves for the Pentecost. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you this day and all the days of your life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. This Mass ascended. Let us go and stay with Christ.